Today we're going to be asking the question, what is boudoir photography? Boudoir. 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 Well, I really guess it depends on where in the world you're located, whether you are a boudoir or a boudoir type of a person. I've worked with many clients throughout the years and I'm always a little bit surprised when people come in and, well, are expecting something a little different. As it turns out, a lot of people don't really know what the real definition of boudoir photography is. And the real definition may surprise you. So that leads us to the question, what is the definition of boudoir photography? You can search Google, but their answer sort of points to a bridal blog, and that may not be the most accurate source of information. But before we really get into that, let's take a quiz. Okay, it's time to play Is This Boudoir? We're going to take a quick look at a few photos on the screen here, and you can play along at home. Is what you're seeing boudoir? Okay, photo number one. Is this boudoir? Photo number two. And finally, photo number three. Is this outdoor boudoir? Okay, let's see how we did. On to photo number one. Is this boudoir? Oh. Okay, well, let's take a look. Photo number two, boudoir. All right, last but not least, this has to be outdoor boudoir. Oh, so close, but so far. Well, let's give our contestants a nice round of applause and maybe we can give pick up a parting gift of some rice a or something for them. Hold up, stop the video. And this is a tough one, but uh, there is no such thing as outdoor boudoir. That's as oxymoronic as a jumbo shrimp or telling someone they are clearly confused. So if anyone tries to sell you an outdoor boudoir session, they are clearly confused. Okay, roll video. Well, if all that stuff really isn't boudoir, then what is boudoir? Well, boudoir is a very simple and often misunderstood genre of photography. As its name implies, boudoir typically takes place in a bedroom setting. Boudoir also contains elements of voyeurism, in so much that the viewer is observing a woman's private moments, and the woman may or may not know that somebody is watching her. Boudoir is foremost about beauty, passion, and simplicity. Boudoir is photographed in a very simple and organically lit style, and the focus is on beauty. Where do we shoot boudoir? Well, we can start with the word boudoir. Boudoir is defined as a woman's bedroom or private room. It's an intimate setting. It's a where. Boudoir photography is photography that captures a woman in her boudoir. Okay, so now that we know where boudoir photography takes place, let's take a look at the why. Why do we shoot boudoir? Well, boudoir is about capturing a woman in this intimate setting. It certainly has voyeuristic overtones. It's a look on a woman's private quarters. It's her caught in her private moments, perhaps not meant to be seen, and creates a sense of allure. Is she smiling or looking in the camera? Well, perhaps, but there's just as much chance as she isn't. And now for the how. How is boudoir captured? Well, 
Given what we've been talking about for the past few moments, we know the where and we know the why, so we can use those two pieces of information to put together the how. As, as boudoir is a pure and simple form of photography, so is the how. It is captured in a simply lit style, which is beautiful, flowing, and organic. It tells a story and, and makes you want to learn more. It creates a lure. Well, those are the three parameters that define boudoir photography. Can there be exceptions? Of course there can. As with any art form, it's always open to interpretation. Now we'll take a look at what boudoir photography technically isn't. And I know what you're thinking. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants, I just paid a whole bunch of money and went to go see some photographer and he had these big fancy jacquard backdrops and these red velvet couches. Are you telling me that what I just had wasn't a boudoir session? Well, no. If we follow the guidelines from before and we take a look at the where, does that really fit the definition of boudoir photography? A dark photo studio isn't exactly a woman's bedroom, now is it? Okay, hold on for one second, and I know what you're thinking. There are lots of photographers that have bedroom vignettes built into their studios, and so going to a studio doesn't automatically discount you from having a boudoir experience, but just call ahead and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so let's take a look at the why in your session. Are we capturing you in an intimate setting? Are we peeking in on private quarters? Well, no, again. And that's because your session fails the where. So therefore, it automatically is going to fail the why, and we lose any of those voyeuristic overtones. And as far as the how goes, in my opinion, studio sessions are never captured simply. There's lots of cables and wires and flashing lights and sometimes way too many flashing lights. And well, none of that stuff really adds to the beauty of the story, does it? And it certainly doesn't get it captured organically. And trust me, having lots of lighting equipment in your customer's face really kills the transparency of the session. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, well, if that wasn't a boudoir session I did, what did I just pay all that money for? Well, you probably just took part in a glamour session not that there's anything wrong with that. Once again, here's another example. Boudoir is not necessarily about what somebody is not wearing. Taking a mostly nude woman and plopping her down in a bed is not necessarily boudoir. You can open almost any men's magazine and find pictures of models in underwear strewn across beds, and let me tell you, they're not boudoir. Boudoir is about beauty. Although there may be underwear, lingerie, or sometimes even nudity in a boudoir photo, the focus of boudoir isn't constant sexuality or what someone isn't wearing, but creating beauty. As stated earlier, the perspective is looking in an almost voyeuristic way on someone's private time and seeing them in an alluring moment, perhaps maybe you were never meant to see. Can boudoir be a bit racy? Sure. The definition is definitely open to interpretation, and that's okay. I can look at a photograph and in a half a second tell you whether it's boudoir or not. And with a bit of practice, you can do that as well. If you're looking at a photo and your first impression is, wow, she looks beautiful, or wow, that photo is really alluring, you may be looking at boudoir. In conclusion, I may be a bit more of a purist than most. I shoot my photography in a certain way, with a certain style, all the while creating a story, and that's just how I chose to do it. Is my way better? Not necessarily. It's merely a decision that I made to create a truer boudoir experience. And this is where the confusion tends to come in. Clients may not really be looking for a true boudoir experience after all. When I have women showing up with lots of props or sending me Maxim style glamour shots before they come in, they think that's all part of boudoir photography, but it isn't. I'll be the first to admit, it's a fun idea to grab a few shots of a client and her husband's Jets jersey to include in the album. First of all, it's an important connection she wants to make as a way of including her husband in the process, and secondly, and ultimately, boudoir sessions are about creating a fun atmosphere for your client and letting them have a great time. And as a matter of fact, shooting true boudoir is extremely challenging and very difficult to master. That's part of the reason why there aren't actually very many true boudoir photographers out there, despite many photographers categorizing themselves as such. Is it easy to find someone who works in this sort of a fashion? Not always. It's a difficult form of photography that few do well, 
Inexpensive? Not quite. You're certainly going to pay for the expertise of the photographer. Whether you are a boudoir or a boudoir type of a person, hopefully this shed a little bit of light on the subject for you. And if there's one takeaway, posing in lingerie is not necessarily boudoir. To have a complete boudoir experience requires the right setting, the right mood, and the right methods. What are your thoughts on the subject? Let me know below. And as always, thanks for taking some time to watch this video here. And if you have any questions, just simply send me a note or leave me a comment below. I'm here to help you out. See you next time.